Every 100 hours, Vitorazzi is recommending to change the crankshaft seals. Actually, it's done on every 100 hour maintenance. In today's episode, we will show you how to do it. Hi there, my name is Stefan, welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series. As I told you before, today we will show you how to change crankshaft seals. You will need a few tools and a steady hand for drilling a small hole, but nothing that you can't do back home in your garage. Let's get into it. In order to change the crankshaft seals, first we will need to remove any accessories that are bolted onto the crankshaft. And that means on this side, on the belt side, the clutch bell and the clutch. And on the other side, we will need to remove the flywheel. We have already videos about how to remove and inspect and replace clutch, uh, flywheel and everything. So if you are unsure how to get to the empty and bare crankshaft, then please be sure that you check the links in the description down below. You will find a video for every and each operation. So fast forward until we will have the crankshaft without any accessories. <laughs> Once we remove the flywheel, now we can see that we have access to the oil seal that is behind the flywheel. Now let's go on the other side and remove the clutch. Now that they have removed the clutch as well, we have access to the other crankshaft seal. So let's make sure that everything here is clean and we can work in a proper way. So we will extract them. And for that, I will explain what methods and what options do you have. First, let's clean it and let's be sure that we can work. We need to clean it to be sure that no debris or any other residues will go in while we will not have the seals in place. You can actually use a special tool that is made for extracting the, the seals out. But from my experience, I know that it's kind of very easy to damage and to scratch the crankshaft. It depends on kind of material it is made from. So that's why I prefer to just drill a little hole, a two millimeter hole. And with the same method as we use for the clutch bell cap, the, the rubber cap, we will extract this very easy and careful. For this, you will need a steady hand and a little bit of patience, but it's nothing that it can be done. I will show you how right now. To avoid spreading around metal shavings from, from, the, from the little drill, I prefer to use some grease and be generous with it. We will put here some grease that will catch all the metal shavings. Now with a two millimeter drill, be sure that you will drill the hole 
not too close to the crankshaft and not too close to the crankcase so somewhere in 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 the middle so we will go here like this be sure that once you drill the hole the the drill will not go into the bearing and damage the bearing so be sure that you take your time As you can see, the metal shavings are building up on the grease. Okay, now we are in. You can see all the metal shavings are on the grease, on the drill and on the, on the seal. Now with an old rag, take all the grease away. So you can see actually the hole. We can work here. A regular wood screw. We'll go inside. With care, just screw it in. One, two turns, not more. Now we are in. Now that we are in, we can take it out. So we can actually use this kind of pliers and easy, very easy. you can take the seal out so as you can see here the screw is in between this slip and the outer side of the seal so we didn't touch the crankcase and we didn't touch the crankshaft either so i will consider it a success let's turn the engine and remove the other one exactly the same method put some grease be generous with it put some grease on the drill too Okay, we are in. You can see hole in the perfect location. In. To have some leverage. Very easy. Pull it out. Let's be sure that everything here is cleaned. Now installing the new seals is very easy and straightforward. We'll just take them out from the package. This is how they come from Vitorazzi. These are some uh, Viton, if I'm not mistaken. This is how the material is cold. It's very high uh, temperature resistant. We want to apply some grease on the uh, outer side and inner side. Not much. No, we, we don't need that much grease. A little bit of grease on the crankshaft as well, on the outer case as well. <laughs> now when installing it, especially this one on the clutch side, be sure that you don't touch the or you don't catch any part of the seal in the thread. You put it on, very easy, smooth, be sure that the lip is going all the way. all the way around now with a pvc pipe with an inner diameter of at least 20 millimeters you can go and press this on it works like magic it's plastic you will not damage anything i like to use a rubber mallet so everything rubber we will not damage anything and easy easy we will we will put this in Now, be sure that the seal will not go down below the, the level of the crankcase, so just make it flush. I don't know if you can see in the camera, I'll try to show on the GoPro. Be sure that the seal is flush with the crankcase, is, is, is at the same level, flush I think it's called. So this seal is in, very simple, you've seen, straightforward. Now let's install the other one, clean everything around. Be sure every surface is clean and ready to to install again grease 
on the shaft grease onto the crankcase grease onto the seal outer outer part the outer side inner side so so now again be sure that very easy you insert it onto the shaft and When you're starting this seal in, you will not need to worry about going too much further inside of the engine because this seal actually has a seat. The, the crankcase is uh, especially made with a seat that will hold the, the seal. So you will just press it until the seal will touch that lip of the crankcase, that seat, and then you're sure that it's flush and perfectly square to the crankshaft. Now that the seals are in place, all that we need to do is put everything back on the engine and we are good to go. When installing this back, again, if you are not sure how to do it, please be sure you will check the links in the description down below. Let's get into it. we are ready to go for another 100 hours guys thank you very much for watching please be sure that you hit the like and subscribe button i really appreciate any share with any of your friends maybe they can learn something from it and stay with us because we will soon go deep into the engine and in the next episodes i will go into the crankcase changing the ball bearings so stay with us till next time ciao